Welcome back to another video of TCG Card Shop Simulator. Um, so I did a little bit of research. Uh, we're going to keep the store as is for now. Uh, because we're making so much bank. It's not even a joke. And obviously we'll change stuff later down the line. Um, to have a fully fledged shop. Also, by the way, this series is actually doing pretty well. So I want to just thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for... You know, watching, supporting, uh, leaving likes. It, it really, really does mean the world to me. Um, this is one of the games that we'd like to get known for. Um, I didn't play it on release, unfortunately. I was playing a lot of uh, Supermarket Simulator and stuff like that, but... would like to actually get more into this game. And also play the most efficient way, because chairs is just, like, very bad right now. So we're going to stay away from those chairs. No, the tables. Uh, the whole point is to make as much money as possible. So we're going to keep on doing this until our money starts to fall down. Let's just say that. Uh, should, we should also maybe change the price. 110. Should be fine. That is very expensive, actually. It used to be 100, then it was 102, then it's 105. Now it's 110. It seems like every day it just gets more expensive. You know, I always had this feeling that the tables is the reason why. The play tables, the events, is the reason why these prices go up, but I don't think that's the case. I really don't. $114, but... We must probably also want to sell these cards at all. It's gonna open it for the achievement. Because the only way to finish this game is to sell every single product in the game. To be the max level in the game. To have everything unlocked. I wouldn't say we're gonna go for 100% achievements as well, because that's just bizarre. Some of these achievements is really ridiculous. We're definitely gonna change the cards we open after all these boxes. I feel like this is pretty useless so far. <laughs> so we'll buy more boxes soon. Dude, it's so warm at the moment. Like, it was raining earlier today. And now it's just, like, super warm. People seem to be happy. Most of them are walking out with a bag. It's what you like to see. Make me rich, bitches. Stop complaining that I don't have stuff on the shelf, okay? I'm buying only things that make me money. Not for your satisfaction. <laughs> Keep opening up the wrong shop, dude. Um, It's not this one. It's this one. Still can't type it in. I wonder when that update's gonna come out, dude. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people complaining about it. Especially the one item people, that's for sure. We're gonna buy 100 boxes, because why not? We're gonna change the method, most probably level 40, and we're still a while away from that. Good news. It's exploding! Wait, that's a hundred? Doesn't seem that much, though. It's whatever, dude. I mean, the whole point of this uh, simulation game is to make as much money as possible, so... 
Well, I feel like the first thing is to get it self manageable, if that makes sense. That you do it the least amount of work possible. So that you can do other stuff like, I don't know, cleaning the place. Uh, stock taking and stuff like that. Uh, we need to buy some spray also. All these thingies, dude. So many stankers. I mean, in real life, like, I don't know about a card shop, okay? I, got, I can't really speak on behalf of the card shops, uh, because I've never actually been in one. But I feel like there's way too many stinkies in this game, right? Like, I feel like if you're running a shop, there might be one or two people that really, really stinks. Yes. But in this game, it feels like it's every third client, dude. I would love to see the value of our book. 22,000 dollars. Well, we have a $20,000 card somewhere also. Well, 18000 to be quite exact. I think one card alone is actually our our whole collection worth. I don't know, dude, that's that's just bizarre to me. So yeah, we're farming those levels. Um I feel like we want to get more workers as well. Once we expand the shop, uh, we're going to keep these shells and we're going to keep uh, the shop. It most probably will just move to like this room is probably. But we'll keep everything. is always good, bro. Where's my fire cards? Where's these nuts on your chin? Yeah, that's why we're still a small channel, guys. I'm so sorry. Very bad jokes. Is it even a joke, though? up more we need more hundred and twenty dollars not bad 
Ooh, we got 69. Uh, thousand monies. Not anymore. That's in the history now. Another empty box. I thought Zachary wanted to tell me something. He walked like uh, he wanted to say something, dude. And then he grabbed the box and did a 180. Definitely have to buy the spray. Okay, I feel like that's a good enough job. Nailed it. not going a home time yet, is it? Because my method vision just like to leave people in the shop. I feel like that's just bad business, dude. Someone's still in the store, you just serve them until they're done. How dare you just walk out of the shop? Well, you can make the argument that you're not paying overtime, but... In a game like this, there is no overtime, right? The, 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 the timer stops at 9. No clients can enter anymore, so you should just serve the ones that entered. Before you leave for your... For your day. And isn't it a little bit ridiculous, dude? Paying someone like Zachary $50 a day. But he's working... I don't even know how many hours, bro. An absolute absurd number of hours per day. Hey, he's gonna help all the clients. For once, bro. Goodness. Well done. Nice. Nice. 70 dissatisfied. 35k. It's still an absurd number per day, like how much we're making. It's, it's crazy. Um... We can just open for the day. Like, we don't need anything else. We are good. As per usual. But that's 70 satisfied customers, though. That's a lot. I feel like that has to be close to half the people entering now. Get sprayed, you stinky. I also need to have a look at the mods again. Maybe there's like... Cool mods out that we haven't checked out yet. I 
feel like auto paying bills. I don't know how that's not a mod yet, but that could be good. There's a mod out that makes it that you can pay less bills. But I mean, like, what's what's that all about, then? Wow. There's a lot of trash in that, in that deck. Or a pack. That's this is my entrance, bro. Stop it. Uh, there might be a queue again. Because I still have that pricing mod on. Yeah. Let's say flat 100. More people might buy. Not just that, but Zachary would be sending people out of the shop first. Like, really fast, let's just say that. I wonder if they're gonna ever add something where your clients become thieves. I mean, we can talk about this in the comment section, right? Like, if there's a feature you want them to add to the game, what would that feature be? What is something you want this game to have within like the next three months? I mean, just adding more products, I feel like it's just the same thing. I feel like the app review must mean something. I feel like keeping customers satisfied should mean something. Like if there's zero customer dissatisfaction, um, you should be rewarded for it. I also feel like the shop levels should mean something. Because in this game, like, if your shop level is, let's say, 10, and there's, like, three products that you can buy right now, the game is punishing you for not having all three on that level in your store. Which I feel like is a, it's a little bit dumb, in my opinion. Because just because you reach that level doesn't mean you have the money to buy the license, the shelves, and place the product down. So I feel like they should be a little bit more lenient, right? Give the guy at least like two days before your clients complain about that product. Because by then it should have been on the shelf. I hope they will also boost the tables because it's just like absolutely useless right now. It does zero. Other than maybe change the price on singles, which is the next worst thing.
Other than that, I can't really think of anything. I complained about the employees moving back to their, like, standing point of origin before they actually work. But that is fixed. That's a big change right there. Zachary went from absolutely useless to just useless. And that I feel like is a big change. Man, these cards provide absolutely no excitement. This is the last time I'm buying this pack, dude. How useless. Also, it feels like we're not getting new cards, quote-unquote, anymore. And if we are gonna play for the achievements, then... We're definitely done with this pack, let's, let's just say that. I made a video, I think it's a previous one or the one before that. We reached $100,000 first time at day 30. We're 10 days later and we're still sitting at 100k. Well, I did buy every single product license. Level 35, baby. And... And... Oh my goodness, and... Now nah, my buddy... Someone has to pay at the counter for that to go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now we're rich again. Broke the 100k Dallas. Put more spray in. Boxes will keep our employees busy for a while, that's for sure. I mean, it seems like they're like halfway. There's a lot of boxes still laying on the ground in the store. Why is there a queue? Uh, you're supposed to be a mathematician. A thousand dollar purchase. Dude, we're going through spray like there's no tomorrow. Way too many stankers.
Hundred dollar purchase. I'm a rich bitch. Absolute zero valuables, dude. Yeah, we're roughly... Well, I think we're past halfway. It's 9 p.m. Okay, I think that is all the clients. It is everyone. 73, so we got more clients. <laughs> more disappointments, let's be honest. <laughs> well, that's how it works, right? The more you grow, the more, you, more people you have to disappoint. It is what it is, but everyone can be happy, unless you're me, okay? <laughs> yeah, that's not true, that's not true. Not even slightly. Another box bites the dust. Yo, stinky. I think he didn't go into the shop, dude. Nope, he's like, oh. Let me 180 this. There we go. Spray him in the eyes, bro. In the eyes. We need to fix this price again. Also, by the way, guys, I, I do respond to literally every single comment we get. So if you want to, you know, talk to me, like I always respond. Give me some advice, some tips, or just say that you enjoy the content. That really helps a lot. The YouTube algorithm rewards people with more comments and more input, whether it's up or down, you know, thumbs up or thumbs down. So, just keep doing that YouTube stuff, dude. It's the only way the algorithm knows that... Well, I mean, the algorithm doesn't, like, get things wrong the whole time, but... On average, it does a pretty good job of promoting stuff that has user input, at least. And also, what other games, what other simulation games do you play? At this moment, we're just playing Supermarket Simulator, Supermarket Together, and this one. And there's actually a lot of them out there. There's so many. It's... And they're all like like they all are plus minus the same thing, right? Customer satisfaction, selling all the products. Uh, well, I mean, it's not the same in this game, but... But you get rewarded for selling one item. <laughs> also no stock taking if you do that. So it's pretty nice. 
520, dude. I think my dog wants to go out. Just give me one second. I'm not gonna pause the game. Let it just run. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just give me a second. Okay, it appears to be a false alarm, dude. It appears to be a false alarm. Just wanted to scratch. Give me all your money in your credit card. Hey, give it to me. I'm not that rich yet, okay? Don't look at my bank account. <laughs> the thing is, like, selling this one product, it, it feels like you're scamming your, your clients, dude. Just think logically about this. You buy something for $50 and you sell it for 100 Now times that by eight items in a box. And times that by a hundred boxes. That is forty thousand dollars for one hundred for one hundred boxes. Profit. That is a bit busted, bro. So every time I buy a hundred boxes. I make $40,000. Where can you do this in real life? I mean, I feel like most um, supermarkets and stuff like that, they do it. I get it, you know, but if you actually look at the numbers, it's kind of insane, dude. It makes you just want to open up a shop in real life. I mean, even the supermarket together, like, whatever you buy, you straight up just double the price. That's how it works. It's a 100% increase, dude. If you buy something for a dollar, you put it up for two dollars on the shelves. If you buy something for a hundred dollars, you sell it for two hundred. Make a hundred dollar profit. Oh, that, that's just ridiculous, dude. Yeah, we're seeing no new cards anymore, it seems. Still have a few boxes outside. So it looks like we're okay. It's vaping time. Someone complained recently saying like, hey, dude, you make good content, but stop vaping into the microphone. I'm like, bro, first of all, like what world do you live in that you think that I'm vaping into the mic? Like I'm moving my head away, but sometimes the pops get picked up by the mic. I had it like I had settings before that it removes my vaping noise completely. But the problem is that my voice then, like some some words don't get picked up.
And I feel like the problem with the vape is like the popping noise is so loud that it will it will get picked up. Regardless of what the settings you have. And I'm moving my head away, bro. I can also mute my mic though. But then I can't hold left click. <laughs> to open up my car pack. You know what I'm saying? Because I do mute on other games, like uh, Supermarket Together. You won't ever hear me vibe, uh, vape there at all. And it's because you're, you're just standing with your broom in your hand when you're vaping. Or you're doing stock taking. So you could just mute. Where in this game... It requires you for some reason to hold down left click to open up all these cards. You know what I'm saying? Bro, we are halfway to the next level again. Halfway to level 36. Apparently, that's how many to uh, tomatoes goes into making a bottle of tomato sauce. 36 tomatoes. We had an advertisement running quite a long time in South Africa, many, many years ago. But, uh, yeah, the advertisement was just 36, and then he whistled the S on 36. The emphasis of there's 36 tomatoes inside a bottle of ketchup. Spray that guy clean, dude. Did you? Yes. There's no stinky in this building. At least not yet. Maybe that's also a feature they can add at some point. So like if I just open this and I click, it opens up all cards. I wouldn't say at the same time, it would do the same thing, right? Until I do a user input, like I press R, for example. And the next pack will be turned around. I feel like that could have just been better. Because, let's be honest here, you're going to open up cards for... Bro, many, many, many hours to get that achievement. Like... Many, many hours, bro. I, I can't even fathom that number. Because I saw someone at like day tw uh, 250 and they still don't have the achievement. Now, we were more productive with our, with our time. We're in day 41. I can maybe get that achievement on like day 200. Who knows? That stinky might walk through. Well, this one will for sure. Never mind, dude. The stink machine is too awesome. But yeah, we do need two of them actually in the shop. And then no stinky should ever come through. Ever. Talking big right now, but... Could be a lie soon. <laughs> okay, we should uh, put some cards back because a mathematician will be walking out again when it's nine. Oh, 
for some reason is standing there. Yeah, these are all employees inside the building now. Alright, let's end the day here. 73. 28k, that's still a huge number. Another box bites the dust. So there's only two left, nice. We might be able to open up these two boxes within today, before this day ends. I don't know if that's even possible. It's a lot of card openings, dude. If I make this bold statement, just let me know in the comment section if you do agree. The play tables at this very moment in the game should be buffed almost to the double of the amount. For me, like when I started playing this game, I was like, bro, build 20 tables because it's just passive income. You don't sell anything, you don't like you don't touch anything on the tables. You just set the event and you make the money come to you, right? But the more and more you get deeper into the game, you realize that. The items is just way overpowered and that makes the tables look like an absolute waste of time. So, I don't know, in my, in my opinion, it's a beautiful looking card, but unfortunately $11. Um, over time that accumulates interest. There was a point in the game, ooh, we have no more boxes outside. There was a point in the game where I was like, I'm, I'm spending more money than what I'm making. And then I was like, oh, there's another event on the tables. And that helped a bit, but you're still at a point where... Wait, let's just buy the new boxes here. Uh, you're still at the point where you're not making much, dude. You know? Should we open up these cards? The Rare Destiny. We opened up the blue ones, and they sucked. Let's do the Rare Destiny ones. And we can do a little bit of uh, Miksodinski. And uh, I think we should buy a hundred more boxies of the ones we're selling. Don't mind me clicking this 100 times, you know. Uh, game developer, what are you doing, bro? Make it at least hold down or at least typeable. Oh, that's not a thing yet. It's just beyond me. Why it would never was a thing is just beyond me. Keep them boxes separated, my buddy. Meow. Let's get some mixed. All news, dude. Look at that. bought a hundred and we're still above a hundred K.
40 dollars Give it in my hands, bro. We should be... We should maybe get that mod where we can have more cards in our hand. Just open up one box at a time. So we get something juicy. Is that a... That's a ghost card, dude. Dracon. Hey, we finally got another ghost card, but it's a bad one, dude. It's not a valuable ghost card, but... It's a ghost card nonetheless. First one of the video, so that's pretty good. I'll go put it in the shelf soon. And I think we should also change the price. So 102 again, so man, the price dropped quite a bit. I feel like that's how it should work also in the game. You know, a, a price tag is purely on supply and demand. So if you have more supply for people to buy it, it has to be lower price. If the demand is high and the price is high, people won't buy it. So the price, like the more of the same product you sell, it should become less and less profitable. I honestly think that should be a thing. That might solve everything that they're struggling with right now. Because they, the developers is trying to patch the one, one sh card shop, you know, trick. Or one item uh, trick, but... I don't think they know how to fix it. And it's actually fairly simple. That's why Bitcoin's price is also that high, right? It's purely supply and demand. If the supply keeps going low every four years and the demand remains the same, the price will double. Just because it's double more scarce every four years. And if you understand that cycle, then you know why Bitcoin keeps going up. Like if you zoom out quite a bit, it looks like it only goes up. And that is why the supply keeps going down where the demand increases, but mostly just stay the same. And I feel like that's something they can implement in this game. If I'm selling just one item, people are going to think it's overpriced. If I go to the shops, because I, I buy a lot of peanuts and I see there's a counter full of peanuts, but the price is like high, I'm not going to buy it. Because I know for a fact in the next week or so that this will be on special because they can't sell it for that price. But they're gonna try. You know, peanuts is something that is not very needed. It's it's a nice snack. It's, in my opinion, the best snack in, in our life. In my opinion. It, it's filling, it's natural fat. You know, um, and it's a very nice snack to eat because it's like, it's slow. It's as slow as eating like a pack of chips, but it is way more healthier than a pack of chips would be for you. And also it's more filling. You'll, you'll remain full for longer. Where the chips will make it like potato normally just turns into sugar in your bloodstream so in fact chips eating chips will make you just more hungry 
It's also made in oil, so... Not natural oil. It, it's bad oil for you. You might be asking why, and it's because it tastes better. Kind of simple. But it is the case. Not seeing that many new cards anymore. On the new packs. I thought that Stinky is inside the building. No, he just walked in. Okay, it's 6 p.m. Three hours to go. Loads of boxes still to open. I saw that most of the big streamers that played this game is no longer playing it as well. I mean, dude... I feel like this will provide you with like 40 hours maybe of like... Fun. You know, fun content, fun having fun in the game. But let's be honest, bro. You'll have to wait for some patches, right? Once this game is playable, the card game, it could become like a very big game. Who knows, bro? I don't think it will ever be as big as like Hearthstone or Teamfight Tactics. Even though Teamfight Tactics is not really a card game, it, I, I honestly think it falls underneath that genre, at least in some aspect. Because it's like you have different, you have a different board, but essentially it's, it's a card game. The rules apply every battle it shows as an auto battler, but I mean, you get the point, right? I don't think this game will be like that. I think it will be more along the lines of like Yu-Gi-Oh! Because every card is one effect. Where you can argue that Teamfight Tactics is more along the lines of like... Um, a tower defense game. We use the player, you just have placements and you have specific structures that you have to follow in order to be strong enough to destroy the wave. Maybe th that's why this series is starting to pick up on the channel, because there are still people interested in it, but the, most of the bigger channels like is playing already a different game. I saw that the game that is like popping up everywhere in my home feed right now is a free-to-play game on Steam. You, you're running a fast food restaurant. Sooner tomorrow, bitch. Good news. Look at that employee of the month, bro. That's what I'm talking about. 31k. Then we averaged 28. So we made more money today. do now is open some cards oh yeah we didn't even look at our ghost card in didn't even place it yet i don't know 
destiny cards i feel like the low end uh, aspect of the destiny cards is more valuable than regular packs but it's still very 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 bad dude expense how much is now oh it went up in value it was 17k when we got it now it's almost 20 dude this is just ridiculous twenty thousand dollars for a card i mean this card is more valuable than my freaking car <laughs> you can argue that <laughs> That's why it's a card and not a car. Car. I mean, this is also a beautiful card, right? It's not a shiny. I think that might be our first one on the shelf. That is a white ghost card. I prefer white ghost cards, even though they're cheaper. They just look clean, dude. clean what is your favorite ghost card do you like white or black i mean i didn't know you get white until like a until we got one by the way this is my third ish playthrough now of the game or my third reset we got pretty far it's just on this reset we had a full foil Ghost card. There's another name. That nineteen thousand dollar card I showed you guys. That's why I'm gonna remain on the save and just continue on from here. Not even to mention that the series does better for some reason on this save as well. So that's good. We're gonna keep on playing this game until the series doesn't do that well anymore. So that's how we do things on this channel, dude. Until we finish the game, we're gonna just keep up making content, you know? So if you wanna see like crazy end game stuff, this is definitely the channel to support. That goes for any game, just by the way. If we get enough views, I will continue on the game. And continue on and continue on until we get to the point where we don't get views. But I also do like to record in batches. And that is why the rep representation we have here is if you're a member, you get early access and you can see pretty much all the bench playing that we're doing on the channel, like completely. Because if a series does well, I normally record like two, three videos of that per day. at this moment i also am practicing quite a lot of teamfight tactics 
because they're South African tournaments and I'm not making money from this YouTube channel. So what I'm trying to do right now is get good and get paid for playing the game. So I'm going to play that the most until we get good. And then we can play more of the single player kind of games, you know? Like Silent Hill 2 Remake, like... I don't know, Dragon Age, the new one that's coming now. I think it releases this year, the new Dragon Age. Bro, I'm just so detached right now from like, single player games. There's so many games out there like this. It's just impossible to play everything. It is impossible. I think there's more games releasing every day. I think it's about like 50 games or something ridiculous like that per day. On average on Steam. And no, I'm not talking about updates. I'm talking about actual games getting released. absolute absurd amount per day like it's impossible to play everything on a channel unless you have like an empire of people working for you and i think even then it would still be too much uh, also by the way cheer emoji we uploaded 3,000 videos to the channel, dude. In total now. We finished 260 different games. And counting, obviously. And the channel is not even two years old. So... But recently I started to like slack down the single player games, like I said before. Focusing a lot now on Teamfight Tactics, so... And games like this will take... I don't even know how long to finish. I mean, we're on day 43. And we're still not even level 40. So yeah, it's gonna take a long time to play games like this. Where I feel like Supermarket Together... I wouldn't say I'm like halfway with the game. I think I'm a little bit more than halfway. Roughly. But that game is a lot shorter than this one. And I, I feel like it's because... You get more experience. $270 card. You get more experience. I feel like the the aspect of like, you know, climbing in that game is quite different than this one. Because in that game you don't buy product licenses, so you have money. But you can't buy the product license because you need uh you need experience. So I feel like the bottle ca the 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 bottleneck of that game right now is the fact that you're just not getting enough experience to be playing with all the products let's just say that where in this game i feel like this game feels a little bit more unbalanced right because if you do sell everything and you have seven discs you really struggle to pay your bills every day and still make a profit. Like if you make maybe a thousand dollars of profit every day, that's a lot, you know? And then once you hire an employee or two, you're just broke again. That's at least the experience I had when I played this game blindly. Now we like followed guides and you know made it even better than the guide. <laughs> Let's be honest, on day one of this series is better than the guide I watched. Making what was it, five six I think it was six thousand dollars in your very first day. Yeah, that's a bit crazy. And on day three, we had Zachary working for us already. He 
because of my read speech. Okay, I don't think it was that early though. I didn't open up that many cards. You know, I wonder the manufacturer that actually makes these cards. I wonder if they also just keep all the expensive cards for themselves. Would like what would stop them from like snagging, dude? You know, grabbing a handful of expensive cards. Like what what is stopping them? After it gets printed stamped. You can get long fingers, you know. a twenty thousand dollar card and get your cousin to sell it at a store. <laughs> I don't know. It's a little ridiculous. I think. Okay, dude. This thing is swallowing, bro. There's five left. All these stinkies. belly button you got there with a nice but uh, tight butt cheeks dude we have three boxes left dude my goodness I feel like we're gonna open up one more pack and then it's 9 p.m Another, another day done. Seventy-one dissatisfied customers. Thirty-three, uh, thirty-one thousand damage. Oh, <laughs> damage! Yeah, damaging the enemies, dude. The enemies is people coming to my store. Thirty-one thousand damages paid for, dude. I mean, it's honestly something along those lines. Nice. Both is near. cards as possible because it then counts towards the achievement. I mean, I don't know the exact number, but it's like a certain amount of news that we have to hit. I think it's a thousand out of a thousand three hundred. And you could just like think about like how rare it really is, dude. For example, the first one here, you can see in the top, it says 500 f 515, so we're nowhere near that. But we're opening up Destiny cards like No Tomorrow. It doesn't really help though. Yeah, the answer is absolutely not. So how are we ever going to reach that? A thousand cards. Yeah, 
As you see here, like after we open about, I don't even know, 10, let's say five boxes. The chance of you hitting a new card is smaller than Zachary's PP. <laughs> Okay, that's a bad joke, bro. But I feel like it was fitting. Bro, I need to go to sleep, man. It's 2 a.m. I'm busy fishing over here. I mean, we're technically not playing the game. We're, we're just achievement hunting right now. We can make this shop way more efficient. By first of all, adding another spray. Maybe getting a second cashier because, you know, first of all, why not? Second of all, it will just help getting more people out of the shop. The more people we get out of the shop, the more we'll spawn. It's a never-ending cycle. Money than that. What are you doing? I normally strive for like two hour videos, but because of how tired I am, we might just do one more day after this, make it an hour and a half. I honestly need to stop recording late at night. When it's close to bedtime. I, I think it's bad for your mental health as well. Because like you're forcing yourself to stay awake. Right. I feel like that's the first mistake. I do enjoy staying awake and working, dude. I think this is the best job in the world. It's the it's the hardest job in the world because like you have to do whatever gets views, right? Whatever it is, even if it's twerking. There must be so many videos of that as well. <laughs> but yeah, so you you you, be, you need to become a view whore. If that makes sense. One, two, three. Nice. The crab makes me think of SpongeBob. And I think it will take a while before you get like an established subscriber base that will potentially watch your content regardless what you play. Because they enjoy you as a person, as a, a character, as the jokes you're making. And I feel like it's the hardest thing to achieve at first, is getting that core group that will watch regardless of what you do. But then you get to a point then where you can play any game. Because after your subscriber base works for you, it will be ranked higher in search results. On YouTube, even though I think search on YouTube is at this moment just a meme. Because like when you go on search and you search for whatever you want, it gives you literally like the top four results and then everything below that is just random junk of your, your watch history. It's like, dude, I, I search for something. Can you, can you go back to the search? Like, 
I haven't found what I was looking for. And with this stupid change that YouTube made, it's it's like four years ago. Do you think YouTube can still be known as the second largest search engine if they destroy their search so much that it doesn't even function? Because like it's not a search engine anymore, right? It's now just a re re uh, suggested engine. And a recommended engine. Oh my goodness, we got a $4,200 card. Hey, That's what I'm talking about, dude. $4,200. I want to check it out, but... Thank you. Look at that, Buttes. Randomly swap one of opponent's field card. $4,200. Full art rare foil. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. And uh, with that also, we reach level 37. So we got two valuable... Co well, I mean... Is the white ghost really valuable? I don't, I'm not too sure. It's it's rare. Okay. I think what it's come down to is like rarity. Even though it's only two hundred dollars. Okay, so maybe we shouldn't say expensive then. We got two very rare cards by just opening up this new pack, and we barely started to open. Because we only bought five and we're in pack three. That's finished. We're opening pack four. So. so far, this feels a lot more valuable. Bro, we're almost at $200,000. Also, imagine going to a card shop. And then all you see is the owner of the card shop. He just stands outside opening up packs the whole time, dude. Like an absolute gamble addicted person. Just opening up cards the whole time. You know, the one thing that I've learned from, from like actual business is that if you're a retail store or let's say a supermarket, you don't want to consume spray. No. You don't want to consume your own product because like you're losing out on potential money. But in this game, it's like, well, We'll reward you, don't worry. You can sell the single cards and... And if you do the math, you al you almost always make your money back per pack. Per box that you buy. I've done the calculations countless of times by now. And eventually I've, I've figured out that opening up cards is... Is more valuable. Even if you lose money. And that's because of the experience aspect alone. $23. Just give me all the ghost cards, bro. Like, can you just give me all of them? Like, one by one. Mm. Give it to me. Do you get a full foil rare or whatever? A white ghost? Honestly, wonder. $23. 
Red Weight, The Years More. Dude, there's still so many boxes on the shelf. I wouldn't say I can, but I think we can do one more full day without even buying stock. We need more valuable stuff, nobody. Oh, can we open up this many cards before our math mathematics dude is like, fuck that shit, I'm out. Yeah, he has to be woken already. Yeah, there he goes. And we have one more client in the building. And it's now at the counter. Dude, it's raining pretty hard outside now. Another day dance of Eighty two, bro. Eighty two. Okay, day forty five. That's what I'm talking about. Don't have that many cards left. Open up shop here. I think we should buy more cards. Let's see. I think we opened quite a bit of these. I don't think we opened up quite a bit of those yet, so let's get us 10 boxes of them. my boxes, bro. You can restock shelves again, okay? But just leave my cards. Speaking of, I think we should buy another hundred. them to be using. We still have 614 in stock though. Bro, we're we're gonna break the 200k uh, if we don't buy. Okay, this should be new also. There we go, look at that. Farming max experience. <laughs> A five thousand six dollar. Oh. 5,600. You see, this is way more exciting. I feel like the Destiny cards is just, just lame, dude. It's just lame. This just has way better value. Mm -hmm. 
By the way, this year is almost done. We're like more than halfway through October now. Absolutely ridiculous, man. And last year was the worst year of my life. Like, I'm not even kidding. This year is a lot better. A lot better. It's okay. It's okay. Don't really want to talk about it, I think. Don't want to bum you guys out, but... Long story short... Goodness, dude. Long story short, I got hacked. And, uh... I lost... Almost every everything I had in crypto. Luckily, I saved my NFTs, but I actually lost my crypto, which really sucks. You know, going on websites you shouldn't be on, paying the price that you shouldn't even pay. Uh, the number that we're paying right now for a card pack is a weird number. Let's just fix that, otherwise the queue will be long. So the queue will be long for a little bit though. But it's okay, you live and you learn. I bought a treasure, a treasure now that my crypto will be on. And it's just a lot safer. I wouldn't say it's unhackable, but it's like almost impossible. And uh, I made up for about 25% of what I lost so far in one year. But obviously I would have been in a 5, 10, 20 times better situation if I didn't lose in the first place, so... But it's okay. You live and you learn, you know? There's, there's some people that said stuff like, along the lines of, rather let it happen now before to learn the lesson before you like make millions and then it happens then so yeah it's kind of crazy but it's okay it's a rant I would say another year or two and we'll be recovered 100%. And then it's only up from there, baby, you know what I'm saying? So many people walking out of the shop at the same time. The box has no item in it, so we need to buy more spray again. 
feel like that's the bottom line. We'll have to check how much money we make at level 40. Whether we will change into a regular shop or not. Because as of this moment, it's still not really noticeable, this nerf that they implemented. But it is level dependent. I would say as long as we make around 30,000 a day, we should stick with us. Because at the moment it's like having a... A hack enabled. If that makes sense. Also when I play the game normal, rough, like uh, stock taking is not a fun job, dude. Another box bites the dust. Also, like, I don't know much card games, by the way. Like, I know of Magic, but I've never played it before. When I was uh, growing up in primary school, I was a big fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! Never really watched Pokemon. Never really played any Pokemon games either. I watched... I watched Yu-Gi-Oh! but disliked the games. And I played poke. Uh, I played Digimon, but didn't watch the series. I feel like in today's day and age, you can actually make a pretty cool game. Let's say like Digimon, for example. Where you can evolve and you can like become stronger and stuff like that, and then your character dies, you become an egg. Caretaking, right? Make sure it goes to the bathroom and make sure you feed it food. Obviously, a high quality food will produce more stats, will help you in combat and all these things. Then you can make card games out of that as well, where this, aka Digimon, could transform into. Or evolve into a different Digimon. It's the same but stronger. You know, you can have a whole evolve system. Then you can make a card game out of that, like Yu-Gi-Oh! And you can make all sorts of different games from one idea. And then you can make a simulation game like this with the cards as well. I don't know, man. I feel like if you find something that works, you should milk everything you can of said industry. $1,300, not bad. Not bad at all. It's not like we're gonna sell it anyway, so... Some of these cards look so cool. I'm, I'm just... I can't believe they're worth only 30, $13. But I guess looks don't matter, right? 
Rarity does. Oh, I saw you walk out. Wait, weren't you here yesterday also late? Uh, always the same guy, bro. Uh, uh, come back. Earlier tomorrow, be out. Still 30k. Day 46. I don't care about making less profit. As long as the people get out faster, we'll make more money in the long run. Stinky walked in and out without being sprayed. Yeah, we need to buy. Some spray. Make room boxes, goodness. Perfect. Okay, we finish another box. Another box by its a dust. It's been a minute for me to actually record a game again. Like, I, I was just playing so much TFT. Like, every game is, like, roughly a video, right? It really depends on how good or bad you play. So... The worst case scenario that I had so far was I was playing for four hours and didn't have one single video to upload. <laughs> With this game, it's like, you know, you just sit for two hours, record and post. Unless something drastic happens, like my power goes off. Don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. What are you doing? level 38 we're not gonna reach 40 on on this video not even slightly I mean we might be we might be getting level 39 no that's a bit pushing it I would say in 20 minutes of level ah dude I'm gonna be getting a half XP
Come on, 200k. I know you want to hit it. We are so close. thousand dollars more to go dude then we're at two hundred thousand we must be making the tax man very happy You're blocking my way, my buddy. Get your foot out of my... My boxes. Like, what are you... <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, there's... I don't even think there's a way we're gonna reach a half a level. The other box has to be empty. That's a big number. Nineteen three 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 dot three. Or in other games it would be Three, 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 three. Sorry, dude. Making that song. We did finish quite a few Final Fantasy games on the channel. Final Fantasy 1, 2, 4. Either 4 or 5, I'm not sure. Final Fantasy 7 Remake. Um, another Final Fantasy 7... I forgot the name. So we finished, I think, about six, I would say, roughly. Six total Final Fantasy games. I have three downloaded, ready to play. But I don't want to open up too many games, right? We are, as is already, playing maybe too many games. And Final Fantasy is a pretty long one. Hey girl. Well, it's not as long as this game, that's for sure. How long is it going to take to reach 99? Also, by the way, what we're doing right now is not really optimal for experience, by the way. It's optimal for, for money. If you want to farm experience, the best thing you can do is sell the individual cards. Because you get more experience per item you sell, not how much money you make. Dude, we're gonna reach it now. Two hundred dollars away from two hundred thousand dollars. Look at that! We did it. How can we improve and make more money from here? Well, I mean, we need to check out uh, shop expansion.
Also, what if you put the table down and just make it, like, very expensive? Should we- should we try it? It's a stinky in my building, dude. How do they keep sneaking in? Yeah, I think one machine is just not enough. No event charge twelve dollars per hour. I think he walked here and said it's too expensive. I will play somewhere else. I want it to be expensive because I don't want people to sit for long. Hey, come on. Dude, this guy didn't complain. There we go. The cool dudes is playing. We don't know we don't want no broke bitch in the building anyway. So that might mean that... What, what, what does it mean? We're gonna get people to sit down that is willing to pay a price for being the ones sitting down. Are you kidding me, dude? Can't you look at the time? Hey. That is a good number, thank you. Come back anytime. 37,000. That's even more than we made yesterday. Let's check out the Reno digs. And another, oh, and another one. Level 41. For the next one. Level 50. Oof. Wait. There we go. Okay, entering the final day of the video. Adabam. Bum, 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 bum. I wonder if people are gonna badmouth us for overcharging. I 
forgot to change the price. Look at that number, 535. I've seen people pay like a hundred dollars each on one of these tables. So they were sitting there the whole day, literally. Taking up client spots. Buying items. weird. Don't say it out loud, dude. The girls will look weird at you, you broke bitch. Keep it to yourself. gonna buy more stock look at all these boxes bro we have more than enough stokerinski no nothing should stop us from just opening up packs made $18 from the, the tables. We should have a look at the app if people complain on it. For expensive tables is. thousand dollars to pay all the bills <laughs> that is so expensive dude bills is a bit much in this game i think Sixteen dollars, bro. Don't bling me with fourteen. 
100 or above, dude. Everything else is insignificant. Expensive to play. Well, toughies. We charge more because we're better. You have higher odds of putting your cards on our tables. <laughs> we know that's not true. Check out the app. Let's see here. Reviews. Do I ever restock your stuff? Where is the fire battle deck? I love the store. No smell at all. Really cheap. Will come again. Best shop. Testnet. Yeah, I need to change the name. Good service, kind shop owner. How do you know I'm kind, dude? I'm just standing outside opening up cards. Leave the prices here. Definitely getting what I need. We're not breaking the bank. There's so many people still happy, dude. Well, I feel like we should be ex uh, like absolutely hammered, dude. For having these expensive cards. Or tables. Standing here with $220,000 in the bank. At day 47. I was about to say, is this another box done? But now it is. Dude, we're making money, yo. Righty, three hours left in game. And then I can finally go sleep. Holy. Yeah, I shouldn't be. I shouldn't be recording my two hour stuff when I'm this tired. That almost looked like a ghost card.
Even though this is expensive, we still have a decent amount of people sitting down. That is not complaining that it's expensive. Almost an hour left. We got this. Okay, these are the final eight cards we're opening. 922, not bad. these people out of here. It is sleepy time for me. Good price. Well, thank you. Why only buy two, huh? Is it too much? Good price. Thank you, buddy. All raw tea, then. Runs out of the shop, looking good. Let's end the day here. 84 dissatisfied. Item earning. We make like $5,000 less per day. Yeah, dude, there's, there's just no way to put up chairs in this game. Even when you overprice it, it, it still just doesn't do the trick. So tables is like a no-no, no-no. no. But guys, we're going to actually end this game over here. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe if you are new. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.